150. For Houston. It's kind of nice if you're headed west. This is nice for the pilots who are going to the west because uh, this is a direct west heading, so they can get on out to Denver or Colorado or uh, San Francisco. Some other tails in the background there. Going to Charlotte on this plane. B, how's it going? Welcome into Kansas City. Benvindo a un programa. Benvindo Kansas City International. It's a nice view. You get Shows you how, how you feel about Charlotte Airport. I know how you feel. Again, this is runway 27, as we have a west wind today. Yesterday, we were watching arrivals from the north with a south wind, and today we have a west wind. So this is runway 27. Muto abragado, of course, ERB, of course. I know, AJD, I know. I'll tell you right now, in my opinion, uh, and if you're new to the channel, we talked about this yesterday on the broadcast, but Southwest is the major player here at Kansas City, offering a fairly wide variety of destinations from uh, MCI. All right, well, that's good, AJD, zero delays. That is good. That's right about the forecast for uh, Michael for me, Omaha tomorrow so that's perfect <laughs> all right here goes our alaska 737 max 9 That's right. We're only 135 away from the trifecta for Houston. So thank you, Joseph Aguilar, Michael Villandre, Ramona Aviation, Trucker Norm, Michael Walker.
I remember. Ha! <laughs> One of them breaks off. Just as we spot him. Military? It's hard to focus in on him. All right. Now, how about this for a nice little surprise? The T-38 training jet. There you go, Dan Reeves. Let's watch this one, the lead. He's doing a Papa Wheelie for us. He's popping a wheelie. <laughs> to take parts from them, but um, I'm not too sure on that. Hey, Yin, we'll see you next time. Oh, go. Okay, so nice work, Dan Reeves, from the East Coast, from Langley. Dang, all the way from Virginia out here? That's a bit of a... We'll see you again next time, Yin. But yeah, man, man, I would give the edge to uh, MCI, I have to admit. Indianapolis, uh, that's a tough one. Whoa, Matt Man with a $5 super chat. Thank you so much, Matt Man. A little gas for the Omaha drive. Thank you so much, Matt Man. I know you're looking for him to Omaha. American Airlines A319 in from Chicago O'Hare. And there goes an American out. I'm going to turn my micro microphone off too. Actually, I'll keep it up <laughs> just in case. Chino, California. Now, that's probably a good place to store a plane there, Benjamin. Here we go. Easy wind. Stop shaking my tripod. This is American 1456 headed back to my home. DFW 737-800. Departing off of runway 27. We're uh, using the east-west runway today. In fact, ever since I woke up, I don't think I've seen uh, 
a 1 or a 19 departure or arrival. We're west, baby. Into the wind. Oh, that's cool. And I do have to say too, and, and uh, Joe McBride is, is working too. He's just been kind enough to support and partner with this stream. So we really appreciate him, but he is working hard here with the airport. So if he's not able to answer a question or stepped away, I know he's working hard. So look at that. We got a Wookiee sighting. We got a Wookiee siding. Uh, yes, Joe, there was a question. The question was... I Hey, Dave from North Little Rock. What's going on, Dave? How are you? It's finally nice to feel some fall weather. Uh, currently 50, I'll say 56 degrees here in Kansas City, brisk west wind. And uh, I'm bringing back my Midwestern roots, Dave. I'm in a coat and shorts in true Midwestern fashion. Pretty rad. Oh yeah, Jacob? Wow, how about that? Well, the Irish Beast, hello Irish Beast with the three Euro. It's now $95 AGD. That's a great question. We should ask, Matt, man, we should ask the residents here and those who fly out of uh, Kansas City. Bell C, hey, hey, happy Halloween. Yep, Ronald Smith, I definitely saw the Air New Zealand. I think there's also some Singapore airlines there. Again, this is the last weekend, uh, uh, or last week, I should say, here in the United States for daylight savings time come Saturday. Uh, we will be an hour behind everyone, except in Arizona and Hawaii, I think. <laughs> Which is very confusing. But Arizona doesn't do daylight savings time. Somebody told me last week uh, Hawaii doesn't. That is Kevin Kelly. That is. Kevin is the A380 still there. Kevin Kelly is the British Airways A380 still in Dallas. That uh, MKC had a uh, signature base there, too. Colin, I did not. Colin, thank you for your contribution. Three pounds super chat, right? All right, we'll see you next time, Noah.
This 737-800 headed off to Chicago Midway. Son of a gun, Kansas or MSP. That'll be a short flight. I'm surprised they don't run a, a CRJ 900 or something. So thank you, AJD. I stand corrected. It is going to Minneapolis. Yep, it's true. It is very true, Ronald. Roger that. AJD, roger that. Speaking of A321s, I think this is an A321. Just judging by the body. Ah, uh, well, I'm glad you appreciate it, Ronald. Thank you. I'm, I, it's great. It's a great, um, it's a great vantage point for sure. So I'm enjoying it too. No question. I also have to say thanks to Mother Nature and the men upstairs for giving us a, a west wind today that allowed for some of these great views. Speaking of the Atlanta flight, here it is. I think he's gonna roll all the way down to the end. I think he's gonna just casually roll all the way to the end. We're really close, by the way. We're only a couple hundred, th uh, hundred subscribers away from unveiling our t-shirts for sale. Very cool. I guess that shows you how far the airport is when they decided to build it north. Yeah, that's, that's wild. That's pretty wild, yeah, I know. Well, you know, if we get down to Texas, we could do some Longhorn spotting. What? Well, there you go. Joe McBride says the airport property is 11,000 acres, 3,000 inside the fence. We have a farm contract for crops and cattle where the airport gets some of its revenue. Well, how about that? Try and keep things steady for you. I'll do my best. <laughs> oh look at that we got a lemon on alert where's david pollock where is david pollock we got a lemon on you're not gonna fall for the banana and the tailpipe
It's 22100. Going back to the East Coast, right? Or maybe Salt Lake. Let me look at this. I'm going to give you the wrong information. I'm going to feel really bad. So this uh, uh, is one of my favorite airplanes. The whale, the Wookiee, Travis, yes, indeed. I've actually, Travis, I must confess, I've been converted to it sounding like a Wookiee from Star Wars. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> nah, it's, it's, it's French Canadian, Canadian French technology works. Or it's uh, French, Canadian, then French technology. <laughs> the 220 is going to LaGuardia. Okay, thanks for looking, Travis. to New Orleans. Here goes our A320 off to Detroit. to the sun beautiful took some back and forth communication and advance notice so oh here's one of our heavies the 767 from louisville this is the time for our first ever heavy alert here at kansas city that i will do matt man i will commit to that this is a 767 Evan in from Louisville. Uh, Chase, flight dispatching is kind of like the behind the scenes guy who plan, does the advice, advanced flight planning for the pilots. He also helps with in route emergencies and coordinating things on the ground. He's kind of like the eye behind the, uh, behind the pilot. Uh, so or the pilot's second set of eyes. I guess that would be the third set of eyes and ears. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. How's it going this evening? Happy Halloween to you. Um, they also uh, help determine how much fuel to take for weather and issues like that. So, and then if there are maintenance issues, they coordinate with maintenance on possible fixes to make the plane airworthy again. So they do a lot of different things and it's an awesome job. It's honestly, I think if you ask any flight dispatcher, it's probably the best job in the industry that's the best kept secret. So that's how I would uh, word it as a flight dispatcher. Well, you know, Ronald, I, I guess that is a, and that's a good suggestion. And uh, obviously uh, I can do that. Yeah, I think there's an opportunity to work together for sure, Ronald. This 
getting kind of cool out. So, but I have a jacket on and shorts, and I did put on my wool socks. <laughs> my feet never get warm. Like when it's winter time, they always, always, always uh, are cold, no matter what. No many, no matter how many layers of socks uh, I wear, my feet are always cold. in the NBA, uh, the players, they're like, eh, whatever. So I usually only <laughs> watch the playoffs. I, uh, so I, I confess. Bills are dominant in the AFC East. They're 6-2. and two. Everyone else is 2-6. and six. Good times. <laughs> oh, spoken like a Bills fan, Dan Reeves. Spoken like a Bills fan. Spoken like a trooper. You think so, Dan? Right at the back. Oh, now I got to take a close look. Close look, Dan. Hmm. Very intriguing. This is our arrival from Houston Hobby on the Max 8. What's up, John Southwell? How are you? Last day of Halloween. Uh, last day of October, Halloween. Happy Halloween to you, John Southwell, our friendly Canadian. This is the, the airport is on the north side, uh, John Southwell. We're on the. Primair headed back to Baltimore.
Roger that, Rainy Cajun. Dennis Thomas, bonsoir. Hey, bienvenue. Bonsoir. Thank you for tuning in, saying hello. We're here in Kansas City. John Southwell, très bien. C'est magnifique. 7.37, max 8. From Denver. And then I'll probably stay the night at Omaha, too, as well. And then Saturday, not a lot. Uh, where I go on Saturday is going to depend on the weather. Uh, they can make notes. That's why they're co-pilots. They, they may make notes, but honestly, they look at the uh, taxi maps before before they uh, block out, so they have an idea of where they're going. But the co-pilot, the first officer, the captain, whomever, uh, they will make notes. So the captain will always... It does. I was thinking about that in my head, Matt, man, during the broadcast. Uh, they have a stadium ready for hockey. They always get mentioned, but it never happens. It never happens, sadly. Very interesting, Ronald Smith. Article yesterday about Patrick Mahomes and Casey current owners applying for a WNBA stream. Nice. Or not an NBA stream, NBA team. WNBA team. And I don't know what's going to happen. So while we have a moment, I don't know what's going to happen over the weekend, and here's why. There's a 